Oof. It has been a while for sure. It's been about two to three weeks the last time I posted on, on my channel and there is a big reason why and that is because I, I think I wasn't satisfied with the content that I've been posting lately. I felt like I, it was lazy, you know, I definitely felt like it was lazy, I, I wasn't putting in an, enough effort, I was just kind of cutting here, cutting there, putting it together and showing you guys the, the final piece, you know, uh, and I just felt like showing you guys my tattoos were enough. You know, reality, I, I was watching my videos and I was like, you know, this is boring. Like my videos are super boring. They were not like before where it was full of entertainment and I was putting in a lot of effort. So I took this three weeks to really, you know, sit and look at all my videos. And I was like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta switch it up. I gotta put effort into this. So for the past week, I've been working on this video. Um, me and the team, we ended up collabing on this full back piece and we recorded the whole entire thing and we did it into, you know, we had interviews, we, we recorded the whole entire process and I made it look like a whole reality show, you know, it, and it's been taking me hours to edit this video. So I can't wait to show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a, a sneak peek right now. One client, four artists on the same full bag piece. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Danny Felix and I do a little bit of everything. I do music, production, I'm a solo artist, play guitar, accordion, and a bunch of instruments. We had worked really hard throughout the week to put something together and we were just hoping he was going to like it. Listening to his story and knowing his background, we really wanted to put him inside the tattoo. So we, we tried it out and it fit really, really well. We had a set idea and our client came in, you know, he threw us some of his little flavor into it. Everybody in the team has a different style that makes him unique as an artist. As far as for me, what makes me unique as an artist is that I use a lot of true grays, a lot of contrast, and a lot of texture, and that's gonna give the piece so much more depth, and it's gonna stand out and pop. And when this video drops, I want you guys to tune in and I want you guys to show so much love and I, and I promise to stay, you know, consistent in showing you, guys, showing you guys this kind of content, you know, because it does take a lot of hours, but I also got to stop being lazy. So expect quality videos like this from now on. As far as today, I'm going to show you guys a time lapse that I did. I really love this piece, but I thought I had lost the footage, but I didn't. So I, I was able to get it back. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna explain my process. Such a dope project. I, I really love this project. So I have put on the stencil already. Um, I try to make my stencil super simple, nothing complicated, you know. Uh, I, just, I just love seeing my stencils look simple. Not a lot of lines. I just wanna be able to freestyle if I need to, add things, take out without feeling like I have to follow my stencil step by step, you know, so. Here what I'm doing is pretty much just using my 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0 to start creating that texture. And what I'm doing here, I started mixing my brown and my tangerine orange from World Famous. Slowly started transitioning into the kind of more like a turquoise kind of bluish color to create that tone on the bottom of the sea to make it look like it's, it's a little bit, you know, deeper into the ocean. It's all about the depth in this piece, so I kept using my 14 round liner uh, because I feel comfortable with it and I feel like it was giving me the texture that I was looking for. And here I started mixing a little bit of my blue, my sky blue with my turquoise to start giving it more of that dimension that is going from the contrast all the way to my highlight. I slowly started outlining the turtle, the turtle, <laughs> the turtle, because I, I was starting to lose my stencil a little bit. But what I did is I grabbed my brown and I outlined it with my brown because I didn't want black in it. I thought it was gonna make it look super cartoonish. So then uh, I went back to my sky blue, mixing it with my turquoise. The green that I'm using, I did not specifically pick one out. All I did is I looked at all my greens without looking at the label or what kind of green it was. I just looked at it, put it next to the picture, and I was like, yep, that's the one. And I 
pour it in my ink cap and that's all I did. As far as a lot of artists that I've seen do color, they have a whole bunch of ink caps out. They mix so many colors together and they use a rinse cup. For me, I was getting a little frustrated. I said, you know what? I respect their process and the way they do things, but I feel like I'm never gonna learn how to do color unless I do it my way. So what I did is I literally grabbed the image, I looked at it and I just matched the color that I saw really close to it. I wanted to take a different approach. Uh, I'm not saying my way is the right way. I'm not saying their way is the right way. All I'm saying is, you know, you just gotta do what feels right. And that's what I did, you know? So as far as for me, I make it as simple as possible. I looked at my colors, I look at the image, I match it, and I do what feels right. So with this client, she was going through a lot of pain. And the reason why is because she had told me that she had been working a lot. She owns her own business, so long hours, you know, and she hadn't been sleeping. So when that happens, you know, pain can be worse. We ended up cutting it short. I sent her home because I felt like it was the right thing to do. Uh, we booked a second appointment once it was healed and she came back and man, the way it healed and then tattooing and finishing the tattoo and comparing side to side what it looks like fresh and healed right next to each other, insane. I mean, I was amazed, you know, and I had done an hour of sleep on her, so I'm about to show you guys that right now. It's been a few months now and it still looks like it's fresh. So as you can see in this image, where you see the rocks on the, on the side here with the scuba diver um, compared to the bottom, I mean, they look almost like it was done the same day you know but the bottom is healed the top is fresh and the way it healed is just amazing you know I'm, I'm super satisfied with the way it looks And here you can see the way the outer sleeve healed up next to the leg piece that I just did. And man, I, I, I feel like it's one of those things where I'm super proud of myself, you know, because for the longest time in my career, I envisioned myself um, applying tattoos that look good even when they're healed, you know, they don't lose pigment, they don't look faded. The colors and the details are applied you know super good so i'm super proud of myself for this one because you know you you can see that on the street and say man that looks like she just got it done today so super happy with it i'm just i'm just ready to start posting some crazy content i'm gonna stay consistent from now on i don't want to be lazy no more i'm ready to start putting in work and a lot of hours into editing you know The approach that I'm going to be taking for this project is using a 27 curve Mac and a 17 curve Mac for the background. My approach for the tattoo is to knock out as much structure and like base mapping as I can. Take it as it comes, man. I'm just going to take it easy, you know, we're, it's, we're having fun at the same time, you know. 